Good bye. Our subject for today is science, right? For quarter three, week four. And our open and close circuit. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to infer the conditions necessary to make a bulb light up. In the previous lesson, you have learned how light interacts with different materials. You also learned that optics is the study of refraction, which refers to the bending of light as it passes through different materials. Reflection, which refers to the bouncing back of light when it hits an object. Absorption, that refers to a material's taking in of light and not reflecting it back. And transmission, that refers to the passing of light through some materials. This time, you will learn the conditions necessary to make a bulb light. Look around your house. How many appliances do you see? How many are currently plugged into your wall outlets? Most households have several devices that make use of electricity. The number of appliances that you have at home shows how important electricity is in our daily lives. How does electricity flow to your appliances? Two conditions must be met in order for electricity to flow. First, there must be a source of electricity. Second, there must be a complete path for the electricity to flow through. Look at the illustrations carefully. This is an example of a simple electric current. The picture above shows an electric circuit which has four parts. A source, which is the battery, light bulb, switch, and wire. Let us take a look at the picture. What is it? Yes, it is a bulb. It helps detect the flowing of current through the circuit by lighting up. How about this one? This is a battery. A container consisting of one or more cells in which chemical energy is converted into electricity and used as a source of power. How about this one? Okay, that is a switch. This is a device for making and breaking the protection in an electric circuit. How about this one? Okay, that is wire. It is used to connect the different components together. This is a setup A which is an open circuit. Setup A, there is a gap or no complete path from one end of the circuit to the other end. For this reason, electricity does not flow. And this is the setup B, closed circuit. In setup B, a wire is attached to the negative end of the battery, while the other wire is attached to the positive end. Both wires are attached to the bulb. Such a circuit is called a closed circuit. A closed circuit makes the bulb light up because the path of electricity is complete, allowing electricity to flow through it.
The switches that you see at home are electrical components that can make the circuits of the lights in your homes open or closed. So to turn on the lights, you have to close the circuit by pushing the switch on. And to turn off the lights, you have to open the circuit again by pushing the switch off. For the development, the activity that you are going to perform will clearly explain the conditions necessary to make a bulb light. For learning task 1, prepare the materials listed below. If not available, you may use other materials at home to perform the activity. You may ask the help of your parents or guardians or any adult members of the family if needed. The title of the activity is Construct Your Own Circuit. The materials, one 1.5 VAA battery or any battery available at home, small bulb and copper wire. Procedures, note, Handle the materials with care, especially the bulb. So for the first procedure, connect the materials as shown in the diagram above. Observe what happens. Number two, remove the switch connection. Observe what happens. After doing the activity, you have to answer Two questions. In your setup, the switch and the wires connect the light bulb to the battery. Number one, what happened to the bulb after you connect the switch to the wire and why? And number two, what happened to the bulb after you detach the switch from the wire and why? For learning task 2, label the parts of the electric circuit. So we have 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so let us now answer learning task 2. If your answer for number 1 is bulb, you are correct. If your answer for number 2 is switch, you are correct. If your answer for number 3 is wire, very good, the answer is correct. Number 4, the answer is battery. For learning task 3, label the following circuit with open or closed circuit. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. So let us now answer learning task three. If your answer is closed circuit, then you are correct. For number two, if your answer is open circuit, that's nice. Number three, if your answer is closed circuit, very good. Number four, if your answer is closed circuit, you are correct. And number five, if your answer is open circuit, you are correct. For learning task 4, draw an example of open and closed circuit. Consider the rubric below in doing the task. So we have the rubrics. You will get 5 points if the drawing represents a clear understanding of the concept. And you will get 4 points if your drawing represents a somewhat clear understanding of the concept. You will get 3 if the drawing represents 
a quite clear understanding of the, of the concept and you will get two if your drawing does not represent the concepts learned and you will get one point if the drawing lacks detail. to take note or remember that open and closed circuit open circuit there is a gap or no complete path from one end of the circuit to the other end while the closed circuit it makes the bulb light up because the path of electricity is complete and their similarity we have a route in which an electricity current can flow around. Assessment. Read each item carefully. Choose the letter of your answer. For number one, it is the source of electrical energy. A. Battery. B. Switch. C. Wire. Or the bulb. Number two, it is a circuit which where electricity cannot flow. A. Open circuit. B. Closed circuit. C. Battery. D. Switch. Number three, it connects the light bulb to the battery. A. Wire. B. Source. C. Open circuit. Or D. Bulb. Number four. It is used to open and close the circuit. A switch, B source, C electric circuit, or D bulb. Number 5, it is a complete path of electricity. A closed circuit, B switch, C circuit, or D open circuit. Are you ready to answer? <laughs> your answer for the assessment for number one if your answer is letter a battery you are correct number two if your answer is letter a open circuit you're good number three if your answer is a wire that's nice Number four, if your answer is letter A, switch, you are correct. Number five, if your answer is A, closed circuit, you are correct. Reflection. Reflect on what you learned on this lesson about open and closed circuit by completing the statements below. The part of the lesson I believe I learned most about is blank. The task which I found most challenging, blank because blank. I realized that I can use what I have learned from this lesson when. And that is our lesson about open and closed circuit. Thank you, and God bless everyone.